everyone welcome to my channel ss academy today's topic is resistance and resistivity table of contents resistance and resistivity example drift speed and diameter of the wire example 1 drift speed and diameter of the wire example 2 resistance and resistivity now consider a wire having uniform cross sectional area l is the length of the wire a is the area of cross section and rho is the resistivity of the material we know that resistance is the opposition to the flow of current through a wire and resistivity is the property that gives an object resistance and both are related with this expression r is equal to rho l over a now it can be seen that longer length of wire may have higher values of r as all of the electrons have to flow through it secondly considering this area of cross section if the wire is thicker it means area of cross section will be more r is lower because both are inversely proportional to each other and a thin wire offers more resistance this is similar to a wide and a narrow pipe as water flows much easily in a wide pipe than a narrow one same is the case with electrons here now copper is a very good conductor hence electrons would flow much easily through copper than any other material this property of material is called resistivity example the filament wire of the lamp whose resistance is 6 ohm is made of metal of resistivity 3.7 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 ohm meter at its operating temperature in the circuit determine for the filament wire the value of alpha where alpha is equal to cross sectional area over length now using the same expression r is equal to rho l over a we will substitute instead of this l over a we will substitute alpha and we get this expression r will be equal to rho over alpha or alpha will be equal to rho over r now substituting the values of resistivity and r we get alpha equal to 6.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 8 meter drift speed and diameter of the wire example 1 now we will study two cases when wire will not have uniform cross sectional area but either in first case it will be having an increase in diameter along the length of the wire and in second case we will study the other case like Uh, when along the length of the wire diameter of the wire will decrease and we will also study how the drift speed varies according to the change in the length of the wire in this case when area will be different in at both points at s point we know that this diameter is denoted by d and at point t this diameter will be doubled like it will be 2d and i is the current flowing through this wire and drift speed of electrons is vs now at s we know that area is pi r square which will be equal to pi d by 2 square because d is equal to 2 times of r or r is equal to d by 2 at point t as diameter will be doubled so we substitute 2 times d and we get area at t will be equal to 4 times area at s now using this equation we which we have studied in our first lecture in electricity that current through a wire is equal to a n v and e where a is the area n are the number of electrons e is the charge on electron and v is the drift speed here we did we have denoted drift speed with v s which is velo uh, velocity or drift speed at point s so at point t this speed will be 1 by 4 of vs because we know that v and a are oppositely related to each other like in this e expression we can see that v if we increase area by 4 the drift speed will decrease by 1/4 and we will study the curve in the next slide and we will see that the line will have a decreasing gradient if we plot a graph between position along wire between point s and t and we study the effect on drift speed we can see that at s this value of drift speed for example it is 1 unit then at point t it will be 1/4 as we have calculated so it will be 0.25 so the curve will have a decreasing gradient 
The second case is when diameter will be half at the other point. Like at x it is d and at y it will be d by 2. Same current I is flowing and drift speed is denoted by at x it is denoted by vx and at y we will denote it by vy. Now as d is d by 2 at y so at y we will write instead of pi d by 2 square we will write pi d by 2 into half square and it comes out to be one fourth of area at a. So we know from the expression i is equal to a and v e that v will be inversely proportional to a so v or velocity at y point or drift speed at y point will be equal to 4 times vx and let us see how the curve represents this variation. Position along y is like from x to y is plotted against x axis and drift speed or every drift speed is plotted along y axis. So at vx see this point at x drift speed is vx and at y drift speed will be 4 times and it will have an increasing gradient. So this is all about resistance and resistivity so far. Please like, subscribe and share my channel and press the bell icon to get notified of my latest videos. Thank you.